Well, lawyers trying to prevent an abortion rights measure from being on the November ballot told the state Supreme Court this week that the proposed amendment is deceptive and that voters won't realize just how far it will expand access to the procedure. But the court justices seem to think the proposed ballot issue is clear. The proposed amendment says no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. It makes one exception, which is already in the state constitution, that parents must be notified before their minor children can get an abortion. Lawyers for Attorney General Ashley Moody and the Religious Freedom Group, Liberty Council, told the justices it would essentially ban any restrictions on abortion. Proponents of the proposed amendment, though, say the language of the ballot summary and the proposed amendment are concise and that Moody is playing politics instead of letting the voters decide. Uh, Alex, um, the Supreme Court justices, this is a conservative court, but the Supreme Court justices uh, this week seem to be tougher on the people that wanted to keep the measure off the ballot than they were on the proponents of the measure. Well, and rightfully so. Uh, the uh, supporters, of which I am one, this will be Amendment 4 on the ballot, are feeling very confident after the hearing. Uh, after all, the Chief Justice himself said Florida voters aren't stupid. And um, they only had two decisions to make. One is, is it a single subject, which it is. And the second is whether or not the language is clear, which it clearly is by their own admission. Uh, and the politics and their personal feelings should be out of it. So we're very hopeful that the uh, Supreme Court will make the decision that the language is appropriate and we'll know by April the 1st. Danny, uh, uh, do you agree? And do you think the language is clear that when voters go into the booth that they're going to know what they're voting for? You know, Rob, as I read it, it, it sounds clear to me. And, and you know, I'm, I'm all for letting the voters decide. It's not an issue I support. I certainly hope if it does make it on the ballot, it fails. You know, in 2022, Florida had 86,000 abortions. That was after the 15-week ban. 56% of those abortions was prior to six weeks. 98% of those abortions were prior to 15 weeks. How many more babies do we want to kill? Statistically, in New York, California, and Florida, they all average about the same, about a half a percent per population per for abortions. Again, how many more do we want? We're already working within the realm. So, but if it does make it on this on the uh, amendment four on the ballot, I will do my best to work to try to educate people that you know maybe it's a bad thing to do. David, I guess the question too is, is this likely to draw more voters out, uh, people that would normally sit on the sidelines uh, because it is such a contentious issue? Will it draw more uh, uh, pro-choice people? Will it draw more anti-abortion people out because it is such a divisive question? Yeah, I think uh, what we've seen in terms of the polling data is that people are very mobilized by this issue and have been mobilized since Dobbs to be more engaged in their elections. The question about whether this um, bill or this proposed amendment is um, ambiguous in its language is, I think, not a genuine claim by the Liberty Council or Matt Staver. Uh, this organization, the Liberty Council, was founded as a litigation nonprofit to promote religious freedom and to protect uh, the freedom of speech. Since the early aughts, it's become much more involved in these cultural issues. And even Matt Staver posted a blog this week uh, on Tuesday stating that part of the motivation behind this was to promote God's word, which is a fine thing for a religious organization to want to do, but to legislate how people express their freedom under the guise of liberty, I think, is not genuine. No, not every church, not every religious group uh, agrees on what approach we should have towards abortion. Exactly. And yeah. Floridians don't want and don't like government interference in personal medical decisions. So, Wendy, I think the Democrats, though, hope that this will draw a lot of liberals out to vote and that somehow it will impact the presidential election. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not just the presidential election, but all up and down the ballot. And they've got pretty good evidence for saying that, looking at the number of abortion-related referendums that have passed in other states uh, by comfy margins. In fact, Local Democrats tell me that if the Supreme Court doesn't allow this on the ballot, they'll campaign on that fact, on the fact that the court would not allow voters to choose. I personally will be astonished if a court that includes five Ron DeSantis appointees 
approves this ballot language. Now, the, the quotes and things that Alex was referring to from the justices suggest that they are not buying the argument that it's unclear. But, you know, sometimes when you try to analyze the questions that justices ask in a controversial case like this, sometimes you can read the tea leaves and sometimes you can't. Mm -hmm. The same justices were also using the term unborn babies to refer to fetuses as the, as the uh, anti-abortion side does. Uh, and um, giving, giving other indications that they might be looking for problems. What's a health care provider? The ballot language referred to health care provider. Does this mean tattoo artists are going to perform abortions? Mm. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'll be astonished if they approve it. Dan, yeah, just quickly, do you think that religious conservatives will be fired up if the issue appears on the ballot? Well, I sure hope they are. You know, I'm, I'm an adopted individual. I think I've said that before on the show. And, and I certainly would love to see on the show every now and then a, a, a lady talk about being uh, against abortion. So, but, but as an adoptee, I feel I do have a right to speak to that issue. And, and I, I want to see the conservatives, the, the religious right, the churches certainly stand up because again, there's a lot of work we need to do. Look, we need to reform adoption in the state of Florida. I've gone through that process to try to adopt a child through the state. It's a terrible, terrible situation. But it doesn't mean we throw away our babies. Okay.